I'm gonna preface this video by saying that this really is not my style and you know that. I really don't make videos often where I say, oh, this team should get this guy or this team should do this. I've only made like one or two videos like this in the past year pretty much and that was the Pia Suttar to Detroit video that didn't end up going down because I said that he should go to Detroit because his line mates from the OHL were in Detroit, but he went to Chicago instead. Instead, we're talking about the Vancouver Canucks and this highly new touted free agent that has just hit the market, at least that might be able to hit the market according to certain sources. So this is a guy who has actually spent some time in the AHL before. Last he spent, he had himself a pretty meh year in 2018-19 with the Tucson Roadrunners after being traded to the Arizona Coyote system. We actually made a joke video talking about that trade back when it happened because it was funny to see the reaction of some people who thought somebody else with the same name was traded instead. But in the AHL with the Milwaukee Admirals, which is the Nashville Predators farm team, in 2017-2018, this player, a 6'2", 176-pound center born in 1994, who was only... 24 years old back when this happened. He had 46 points in 72 games played, 33 and 49 the next with the Admirals before getting traded. But this recent season, this guy wrapped up a year for the ages in the SHL in Sweden. 52 games played, 48 points with the Vekwa Lakers Hockey Club. And according to Rob Williams, the hockey guy on Twitter, he is being told that this player is planning on returning to play hockey in North America next season as a free agent. His name is E. Pedersen. Not Elias Pedersen, but the older brother, Emil. So, today we're talking about Emil Pettersson once again. Yes, we have spoken about him on the channel before. We made that joke video talking about how we got traded to Arizona and everybody was really upset saying, oh, why did you make a video about Pedersen getting traded to the Coyotes? You made it seem like it was Elias and that was the point. I was making fun of it. But Emil Pedersen is a guy who legitimately has had some pretty rough times transitioning into the NHL from the AHL. He wasn't really given an opportunity in either Nashville or Arizona. He went back over to Sweden as a result of that, and he had himself a pretty down year in 2019-20, just a half a point a game, but this season he really started to play. As we said, 48 points, 52 games played, third in the entire SHL in point production over here. And if you want to take a look at the points per game, he is also in the top 10 as well. 0.92 points per game. Obviously, he's putting up some pretty good numbers, but the fact is, when you're talking about, oh, he's just under a point per game in the SHL, it doesn't mean he's going to be just under a point per game in the AHL or the NHL should he decide to actually come back over here. According to Rob Williams' sources, it appears that he might be planning to. You gotta remember, Elias Pettersson, back when he was 19 in this league, was over a point per game, and he was the first player in the league in points. Now, that translated the immediate next year where he was a point per game with the full-time Vancouver Canucks, but for Emil Pettersson, a 27-year-old, middle-sized, framed forward, you have yourselves a profile that if he is going out there looking for an NHL job, I don't think there's anything to lose by giving this guy a contract. I mean... You have yourselves what is one of the top players in Sweden already. So, if you're looking out there for some nice depth acquisitions, who knows if this is your guy? This is what the write-up says on Elite Prospects. He's technically a very skilled player, good puck handling and hockey sense, a solid skater, creative with the puck. He needs to be stronger. But hey... This scouting report was written back in 2013. The NHL is a lot more of a fast man, speedy man's kind of game now than it was back then. So I think the concerns about strength and weight aren't all that big of a deal anymore as they were back when the scouting report was written. But hey, this is a guy who might be a free agent, and if the Vancouver Canucks end up losing out on a Tanner Pearson or a Brandon Sutter or whatever, who knows if this is a guy that you want to bring in. If the Vancouver Canucks suck when they return from this infection they've got going around, who knows if you can go out there and acquire Luke Hughes in the draft in the top five and you acquire Emil Pedersen in free agency, and in two years' time you have a power play that consists of Petey, Petey, Hughes, Hughes, and Besser. Oh man, that's crazy. <laughs>
Oh man, that's my franchise mode, be a GM mode mine, coming out to play over here. Obviously, you know, if this doesn't happen, then okay, cool. If he goes to another NHL team and he exhibits success in the NHL, then awesome. Emil Pedersen looks like he deserves it, but... Vancouver, man, please. Please think about this. Talk to me in the comments what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. Ash Rose and I and I. And... Bye. <laughs>